Hi there and welcome to today's products in focus. Well as you'll be able to see there the uh, markets completely switched around again uh, last night uh, and this is on the back of again a massive uh, US tech stock sell off on the Nasdaq last night where you've been a catalyst driving prices down lower right across the globe. So not just the US but Europe and across in Asia as well. And you throw into the mix um, issues with Russia, Gazprom, gas prices, Ukraine, unpaid gas bills and still a build up of military presence right there and you've got a pretty uh, hardcore catalyst for market volatility. So the US 30 there is trading around about potential support at 16178, uh, a break below that and that's also the 55 period SMA, a break below that opens up 16030 and today is Friday as well so we're getting close to the end of the weekend and with that Russian build up uh, there could be pressure on prices um, later on today. UK 100 similar thing a complete turnaround that's a bearish engulfing pattern pretty much bouncing off potential support at 65.81 trading below two, both moving averages next potential support at 65.19 the Japanese market has been under extreme pressure, lots of tech stocks over there. It's off the session lows, but the potential support now lies at 13.693. Um, dollar yen's been all over the place, quite volatile. And it does look like uh, the euro is strengthening, the dollar is selling off ever so slightly. <coughs> uh, not against dollar yen, incidentally. Uh, but as you can see, the, these are the core levels on Japan 225. Closer it gets to 13.693, the more strategic it will become. So, dollar yen. So what we've actually seen here is we are trading close to potential resistance or just about above it right now. It's, as a matter of fact, it's bang on there right now. Uh, 101 spot 80 uh, is the potential resistance now. So that's the strategic level. I moved to the downside is 100 spot 80. If we break above 101 spot 80, the next potential resistance is at 102 spot 90. Looking at West Texas crude, um, it's been drifting a little bit lower right now. So we're slightly back in the middle of two ranges. 103 is a support. Potential support 104. Let's just say it's 105. It's potential resistance on West Texas crude. So if we then have a look at gold in this instance here, we're getting quite close to a death cross on the moving averages. We're edging slightly closer to potential resistance at 1332. Uh, we're on the right side of the moving averages right now. Uh, dollar weakness will help this. Uncertainty may help this. Um, depends on the type of news flow that is uh, feeding out throughout the rest of the day. Um, but considering everything that's happening over in Eastern Ukraine, as ever, uh, there might be a lot of defensive plays later on in the session, um, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. And if we finish up with Euro Dollar, so Euro Dollar is doing quite well actually, um, doing very well in fact, smashing above potential resistance at 38.63, and I actually need to get my drawing tool like here, so I can draw on the next level of resistance, uh, which is probably uh, 93, uh, sorry, 39.68. Um, so probably 83.63, uh, sorry, 38.63 will be the potential support if we do get a retracement, and the potential resistance is up here. And if we just finish up very quickly there with GBP USD, uh, it's been a bit flatter today, obviously breaking above that potential resistance at 67.44. This, this is probably the strategic level you want to look at. And again, uh, I need to get my SR line on there. This is where the potential resistance is going to be, just the tip of this candle. We're in about 68.20. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and save that so we've got the details. Make sure you keep an eye on the chart forum for more updates from our analyst team and also from other CMC clients. In fact, feel free to post your own analysis as well and make sure uh, you make insights part of your layout going forward. And as you can see there, one of the updates we've had this morning is that the China A50 has made a new 2014 high. Uh, and that's probably in the back of this Chinese data that came out. Uh, worse than expected uh, and again it, it's just in regards to most stimulus is likely bad news is good news good news is bad news China A50 apparently doing pretty well uh, and we'll see I think kind of turn out there but lots of pressure on prices today join me again on Monday to find out what happened next